raise your hands where you are. Let us pray. Yes, Lord Jesus, we thank you. We thank you for your presence, for your goodness. Yes, Lord, for being with us in such a time as this. Lord Jesus, we thank you because your love is everlasting. And because of your love, Lord, we worship you. Lord, have your way in our lives. Lord, I pray that you do your will. May you heal. May you deliver. May you provide peace, joy. Yes, Lord, that only you can provide. Lord, I pray now in Jesus' name. I declare your glory. I declare that your light will shine in the darkest places. Where there is confusion, Lord, you'll bring order. Where there is chaos, you'll bring order. Lord, we pray now in Jesus' name. Because this is your doing. We know that you are the Prince of Peace. Marvelous Counselor. Everlasting Father. Emmanuel. So Lord, we thank you. We thank you. We exalt your name for the things we are unable to see. But we know that you're doing now, Lord. You are answering prayers in this place. Lord, you are providing the answer right now in Jesus' name. And I thank you, Lord. Yes, for calming the hearts that are troubled. For healing the bruises that are inside. That are invisible to the naked eye. Lord Jesus, I thank you. For making us winners. And more than conquerors. In your name. Lord, in every spiritual war warfare that we are fighting, Lord. You are our banner. You are, Lord, the Lord of war, the God of war that we serve. You are Jehovah Tzidkenu. Lord, we love you. Because you fight for us. You fight on our behalf, Lord. You are fighting on behalf of your people. And yes, Lord Jesus, we pray now. Because we know that there are certain battles, Lord, that can only be answered through prayer. And Lord, we pray, Lord, for this nation. And we thank you, Lord Jesus. Because we trust in you. We declare your glory. Your majesty, now and forever, in Jesus' name, amen, amen, hallelujah. Thank you, worship team. We can do better than that, church. Hallelujah. We can do better than that. Hallelujah. Our God is good. Please greet someone next to you before you take your seats. Our God is good. With your permission. Pastor Jesse also. Uh, I'm just emphasizing this passion that I have for young people. Amen. So please open your Bibles in the book of Exodus chapter 17. Um, forgive me for my voice. Uh, I've been... I've been I've been enjoying life over the last week. <laughs> God is good. Thank you, Pastor Igor. Thank you. I'm still, um, how do you say it, analyzing it. Um, but it's really a blessing. So, um, Exodus 17. Uh, if, you, if you don't know what Exodus is, go to your Bible second page or third page after the title you find the book of Genesis and after the book of Genesis is the book of Exodus chapter 17 are you there? are we all there? hallelujah so I'm just going to read again verse 8 to 10 sorry to, 30, to 11 sorry then Amalek came and fought with Israel at Rephidim. 
So Moses said to Joshua, Choose for us men and go out and fight with Amalek. Tomorrow I will stand on the top of the hill with the staff of God in my hand. So Joshua did as Moses told him and fought with Amalek while Moses, Aaron, and Hur went, went up to the top of the hill. Whenever Moses held up his hand, Israel prevailed, and whenever he lowered his hand, Amalek prevailed. Amen. Amen. Esos capítulo 17, começando o versículo 10. Josué foi então lutar contra os Amalequitas, conforme Moisés tinha ordenado. Moisés, Arão e Ur, porém, subiram ao alto da montanha, da colina. Enquanto Moisés mantinha as mãos erguidas, os israelitas venciam. Quando, porém, as baixava, os amalequitas venciam. Amen. Amen. So we started reflecting on this topic, the Lord is my banner last week. Então começamos a refletir sobre este tópico quando falamos do Senhor é a minha bandeira. I'm very passionate to understand the God, the God that we worship. Então eu sou muito apaixonado em perceber e conhecer o Deus que nós you know, the world has been living a very interesting season, as I said last week. And they try to put the Lord our Savior in a certain pocket. Amongst other gods. Entre outros deuses. Amongst other religions. And sometimes we don't understand that. And the information that we receive. Hands up fitting. In our old beliefs. Where we would see things. And worship those things. Without understanding why we are worshiping them. But as I mentioned last week. It's important for us to understand who are we worshiping. Why are we worshiping him? Why am I here? Who called me here? And I said it's. Always amazing to know that you are not here by chance. You have been called to worship him in spirit and in truth. And it's important for you to know that. Some people say, well, I just came by and I found this church and here I am. And I'm saying, yes, you can say you came, but... It is not by chance. There is a reason why you are here listening to this word and to this message and learning that you are not just here to sit and to hear or listen but you are here to become a practitioner of the word of God. We are not just observers. We are doers of the word. And last week we understood that there are two spheres most of the times we fight physical battles. We take swords, different weapons, knowledge, experience. We build networks and we try to solve things based on our own knowledge of things. On what people say. People say, yes, I believe in God. But this is the way that I will do things. Because that's the way that I've learned. They do things in order to just justify their behavior. That's why when we see Moses saying, I'm going to the top of the hill and I'll raise the staff of God. While Joshua is fighting, he's separating us from the way that people normally think. Hallelujah. Amen. So you have to understand this. And today I want to dwell a bit on this topic. Because, you know, it's good when you try and use your own knowledge, seek knowledge, 
I encourage you to do that. Build your networks. I encourage you to do that. Build your connections. Increase your resources. But never forget that according to Ephesians 6, we are not fighting just carnal wars. We are also in spiritual warfare. And engaging into spiritual warfare is understanding this. As I'll do what I need to do in the physical, I will also do what is required for me to do in the spiritual. If I have to fast, I will fast. If I have to pray, I have to pray. If I have to worship and sing to our God, I will do it. Because I will not do things according to the physical. And unfortunately, most of the times, as we mentioned last week, churches are just focusing on what is physical. Yes, we understand. But there is one key theme that Jesus brought. He said that when you pray, he said, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Uh, the Message Bible says, on earth as it is above. Então, a Message Bible, Bíblia diz que na terra assim como nos céus. And, and the Bible also says that the thoughts that the Lord has for us are higher than our own thoughts. E a Bíblia diz que os pensamentos de Deus têm por nós são maiores que os nossos pensamentos. And in order for us to achieve, to reach to those thoughts, e para nós podermos alcançar e poder ter acesso a esses pensamentos, you can take anything physical, tu podes pegar tudo físico, it físico, won't be able to resound então, or não, to echo, não vai ser capaz the true will of God. Because you can only get to the will of God above when you seek Him. When you seek Him. When you surrender yourself and you say it's not about my time. It's about you, Lord. Lord, now, now I'm not able to solve this. It's your time. If you study the great war strategists, none of them mentions prayer. The only mention different types of weapons. They, they will tell you that you need the infantry então, or infantry, sorry. Da, well, you need to have um, the, 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 air, um, the, the air force But none of them mention the importance of prayer. Because spiritual warfare is a totally different dimension. So how do you find your battles? How do you call the Lord to rescue you in your battles? Most of the times we, we do things and we justify that the Lord did it. Some people kill and they say because the Lord allowed me to kill. Some people engage into corrupt ways of dealing with businesses and they say because it was the will of God. Isn't it? Ah, my brothers and sisters, you know it. Some other people, they get into addictions said, because the Lord allowed me to. Let me tell you this. It's time for us to embrace and understand that we are spiritual beings. We are spirit, in fact. And we have to understand this. And in order for us to connect with the Lord, there is no better way than praying, seeking an audience with Him, understanding that it's not about whatever you have in your pocket or who you trust. 
But it's about understanding that you serve the most high God. Mas tem a ver com o fato de servir o Deus Altíssimo. The creator of heaven and earth. O criador dos céus e da terra. Who gave his only begotten son. Que deu o seu filho unigênito. To die for you and me. Para morrer por eu e tu. To give you life and life in abundance. Para dar vida e vida em abundância. And this is why you are called a citizen of the kingdom of God. É por isso que tu és chamado cidadão do reino de Deus. But it's important for us to search our own motives. Mas é importante que possamos sondar os nossos próprios motivos. Why, why are we doing what we do? Por que que nós fazemos o que nós fazemos? Because Moses could have said, "Well, Joshua, go and fight." Então porque Moisés poderia ter dito, Moisés pode avançar e lutar. Keep fighting. Continua a If we lose, we lose. Se nós perdemos, If we win, we win. Se nós vencermos, vencemos. Isn't it? Não é isso? Ah, sua fana. Qualquer maneira que seja. Isn't it? Yeah. We we say that. Yeah. Like, yeah. If you pray, you don't pray. Ah, ah sua fana. It's the same thing. É a mesma coisa. Whatever happens, happens. Até o que for acontecer, vai acontecer. But let me tell you this. As I mentioned last dizer, week, when you search your motives tu sondas, and, you tu motivo, and you understand e that the Lord cares for you, que o com você, that He's keeping you, que ele te guarda, even in the middle of any trouble that you're in. Então, mesmo no meio dos que tu when que the encontra, enemy thinks that he's winning, quando o inimigo pensa que está vencendo, You have to understand. The Lord at his, at his own time. O Senhor no seu He will answer. Ele vai responder. Because he is unfailing. Porque ele nunca falha. Hallelujah. Amém. Hallelujah. Amém. And we say it's it's quite interesting how David says this. Então é muito interessante como Davi diz isso. In the book of Psalm 121. If if you open your Bible it's it's deep. Because you know The human nature is normally trying to find answers in everything that is uh, around you or around ourselves. É interessante porque a, a natureza humana busca so, respostas em tudo à sua volta. He says this: I lift up my eyes to the hills. Diz assim, levanto os meus olhos para os montes. From where does my help come? E pergunto, de onde vem, me vem o um socorro? And he says, my help comes from the Lord. O meu socorro vem do Senhor. Who made heaven and earth? Que fez os céus e a terra. Hey. So his, his senses então, os seus sentidos are panicking. Estão em pânico. Hey, where should I find? Where will I find help? Onde eu irei encontrar ajuda, socorro neste momento? And it's it's human nature. E é a natureza humana. And and I, I've learned this. Também aprendi isto. That you, you you either fight or flight. Ou tu lutas ou foges. Sometimes we tend to 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 fight flight or run away and that's what what most of the times happen and sometimes you fight but when you fight you you are just based on your own senses you are based on your own senses what you see what you smell what you hear what you taste what you touch isn't it That's why when people go, ah, Pastor Jefferson doesn't like me. Então, por isso quando as pessoas dizem que ah, Pastor Jefferson não gosta de mim. What they're using is just their senses. Então, o que estão usando? Estão usando apenas os seus sentidos. Because ah, Pastor Jefferson didn't greet me well. Ah, Pastor Jefferson não me cumprimentou bem. The way that he waved his hand. A forma como ele levantou a mão. Ah, that was bad. Ah, foi mal. He just did this. Ele só fez isto. But Pastor Jefferson was just looking at you and he said. Mas, mas Pastor Jefferson estava olhando e estava a dizer. But you saw like. Mas tu Because you're based on your senses. Sometimes we mis misinterpret messages. Because we hear wrongly. Someone asks you. Are you good? And maybe you interpret it. Are you not good? Because it's your senses. That's why David says, "Hey, my help is not based on what I see." A minha ajuda, o meu socorro não vem daquilo My help que comes from the Lord, mas o meu socorro vem do Who made Deus, heaven and earth. Que fez os céus e a terra. He recognizes the sovereignty. Ele reconhece a soberanidade of the Lord. Do Senhor. He recognizes Ele reconhece that both heaven and earth que os céus e a terra obeys the voice of the Lord. Obedecem a voz do Senhor. He recognizes Ele reconhece that we shouldn't base ourselves in what we feel. Que nós não devemos basear-nos naquilo que nós sentimos. And what we touch. Ou naquilo que nós But what the Lord says. Hallelujah. Amen. Say to your neighbor, your help comes from the Lord. 
Your help comes from the Lord. O seu socorro vem do Senhor. And and it's quite interesting. E é muito interessante. Because we see that as Moses raises his hands, então vemos que quando Moisés ergueu as suas mãos, you know, victory will happen. A vitória aconteceu. But when he, he was not raising his hands, mas quando ele não conseguia erguer as mãos, eish, it seemed like the battle was over. Parecia que a batalha já havia terminado. My brothers and sisters, I, I don't know how automatic that is. Então não sei quão dramático isso é. So it was like, Lord, quando dizia Senhor. Have your way, and the Israelites will see victory. And suddenly, when he would get weary and tired, they will see defeat. Mm. You know, sometimes we read these passages, and I try to imagine. For those who, who like soccer, imagine you are in uh, Stadio Zimpeto. Yeah, that's that's the closest place that I can connect to. You are studying the Zimpeto. Mamba is playing against South Africa. All right, against against Madagascar. And you are there singing Ole, 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 Ole. And Mambas are just scoring one, two, three. And every time you get quiet, Madagascar will score like 10, 15. You have to get this, this picture right. Every time Moses would raise his hand, Amalekites will die. <laughs> I don't know if you're getting it. He would just raise his hands. He would just raise his hands. This brings us to understand that spiritual warfare has a direct effect in the physical realm. So if you are inside of a battle and you suddenly give up, you go like, okay, God, it's not my time, it's not my season. I fasted, I prayed, so I'm an, it's enough. I won't continue. You know, maybe it's that moment when the Lord is saying, my son, the only currency that I've given you is faith. Why are you giving up on your faith now? Why are you saying, I'm not praising you again until I see my victory? Why don't you praise him now as your victory is already arriving? Why are you giving up your faith when things get tight? When the Lord is saying, I'm expanding you, but because with your physical eyes, you are not able to see. You think that the mounts that surround you are bigger than the God that you serve. That's why the Bible says we walk by faith and not by sight. Say to your neighbor by faith and not by sight. I want to encourage you this morning. It's, it's important for us to, to go back to these basics. You know, there are people who are praying. And, and I've mentioned this last week that some people pray and, and they wait. I, I love it. But what, what, one thing that is important is that Moses said to Joshua, go and fight and I'll pray. Now we, we, we don't have a Moses because when Jesus died, the veil was torn. We have a direct access to the Lord. So you can do both. You can say, Lord, as I'm preparing for this, I'm, I know, Lord, according to your will. We have a standard of excellence. Lord, you use me. As I enter into that interview, Lord, you, you, you help me to respond. You clear my mind. I'll see the concepts clearly. Lord, I will prepare myself to position so that I don't put your name to shame. 
ganhar o seu nome. Uh, the problem is that as believers. <laughs> então o problema é que como crentes. Ah, uh, because we are Christians. Ah, uh, porque nós somos cristãos. We are children of God. Somos filhos de Deus. We don't prepare ourselves. Não nos preparamos. Isn't it? Não you go é? like, hey, you have an interview in two weeks. Tu tens uma entrevista em duas semanas. And you're applying for a senior position. Então, a or to a bigger company. And you say, ah, I know this thing. And the question that they bring to you is so simple. How can you help us to implement this strategy? And you go like, eh, I never implemented that strategy. <laughs> I have just received orders and implemented. <coughs> so, How can I be able to então, é do better if I don't prepare myself? So my brother and sister, então, irmão, irmão, as you pray, assim orar, you prepare yourself. Tu te mm. You have to understand tu that even though Joshua, então, mesmo Josué, who was not a man of war, não era um homem de guerra, he had to prepare himself ele tinha que se because they knew they would face different challenges. Porque eles sabiam que iam enfrentar diferentes desafios. So as children of God, então, como filhos de Deus, we also have to prepare ourselves nós também devemos nos to preparar face those different challenges. Para enfrentar esses diferentes desafios. Because provision can only be given porque a provisão somente pode ser dada. As Pastor Gripa likes to remind me. Então, como Pastor Gripa gosta de lembrar. When there is a vision. Quando existe uma visão. So if you if you're in a battle. Então, se tu te encontras numa batalha. And you don't know where you want to get. Então, e não sabes para onde chegar. You don't see yourself as a winner. Não não te consegues enxergar como vencedor. And you don't prepare yourself to do that. E não te preparas para fazer. Or to be there. Ou para estar lá. You don't blame God. Tu não culpas a Deus. I just want to emphasize this. Só quero enfatizar isso. One of the things that I, I would like to remind you Uma das que de is that this was happening in the wilderness. Que a no so they, they left Egypt. Eles o they were in the wilderness no on their way to the promised land. A da terra And one of the things that we realized e uma das que nós notamos, going back to the senses aos is in the previous chapters, é nos, especially chapter 16, nos, capítulos anteriores, especialmente no capítulo 16, and the first parts of chapter 17, the 7, people started complaining about as, the things they used to have in Egypt. As pessoas começaram a reclamar sobre as coisas que elas tinham no Egito. Mm. So they were like, why, why did you bring us here? Então, eles questionavam, por que nos trouxeste até aqui? And there is a, a similar story that happens in the book of John chapter 6. Então, houve uma história similar que ocorreu no livro de João, capítulo 6. When, when Jesus uh, finished feeding the, the 5,000, então, quando Jesus terminou de alimentar os 5 mil, John 6, verse 24, João 6, capítulo 24, So, when the crowd saw that Jesus was not there, nor, nor his disciples, they themselves got into the boats and went to Capernaum, seeking Jesus. When they found him on the other side of the sea, they say to him, Rabbi, when did you come here? Please. Então, no versículo 24, João, capítulo 6, diz assim a palavra. Quando a multidão percebeu que nem Jesus, nem os discípulos estavam ali, entrou nos barcos e foi para Cafarnaum em busca de Jesus. Quando o, quando o encontraram do outro lado do mar, perguntaram-lhe, Mestre, quando chegaste aqui? And Jesus answered them, Truly, truly, I say to you, You are seeking me not because you saw signs, but because you ate your fill of the loaves. Amém. No versículo 26 diz, Jesus respondeu, A verdade é que vocês estão me procurando, não porque viram os sinais milagrosos, mas porque comeram os pães, os pães e ficaram satisfeitos. Ei, 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 ei. So, Jesus is saying to... Então, Jesus está a dizer... You know, We, we live by our senses, we know. Então, nós vivemos com base nos sentidos, sabemos. And, and they inform the way we think. E elas formam a forma, so imagine, forma como nós pensamos. I, I never realized então, eu nunca notei that these people were not seeking Jesus because of miracles. Porque essas pessoas não buscavam Jesus por causa but, dos milagres. But they were looking for Jesus because of the food. Eles buscavam, procuravam Jesus por causa da comida. Because they, they ate some loaves and Porque fish. Porque comeram alguns pães e peixes. So what is your motive to seek the Lord? Então, qual é o seu para o what is your motivation to o que pray? 
motiva a orar? Are you just waiting for loaves of então, bread? Será que estás à espera de pães? Or are you seeking him? Ou buscas a ele? The one that provides bread. Aquele que provê o pão. The one that is the bread of life. Aquele que é o pão da vida. Are you trying? Então, será que estás a tentar? To expect something from God. Será que estás a tentar esperar algo de Deus? Or are you saying? Oh, tu dizes. Lord, Senhor, your will be done. Seja feita a sua vontade. On earth as it is in heaven. So, just to help you think, uh, Miles Monroe said uh, that it's important for us to understand our citizenship in the kingdom. So Moses understood that he's serving the Almighty God. That's why his currency was faith. He was not just hoping on war strategies or the capacity that his team had to solve issues. So by understanding your citizenship of the kingdom or in the kingdom of God, you have to understand that you can experience special rights and privileges. You have the access to God without the need of anyone else. Because Jesus already said, and we said this last week, that he is the way, the truth, and life. Once you accept him, your citizenship is given to you automatically. You are connected to the power of the government that you serve. Mm -hmm. That's why for certain nations, if there is chaos happening in a country where their citizens are, because these citizens belong to that specific nation, they have rights and privileges, they try their best to rescue them, removing them from the situation of danger. Because they have the means and duty to provide that. So imagine we are in the kingdom of God. Can you imagine? You know, he is giving us unlimited sources. Love. Care. Faith. And he's saying, call unto me. And I will answer. He's saying, it's not about just complaining. It's about fight and calling. Mm. So he has called you então, to have a deeper relationship with him. He wants you to see him as he is. The father that never abandoned you. He wants you to see him as the redeemer of your soul. He wants you to see that he is the protector of your life. And under him, all of your plans are safe. He's just waiting you to call upon his name. Not upon the things that he can provide. But establishing this relationship with him that goes beyond the things that you see. You know, if, if you go to, to the book of Deuteronomy 6, verse 4, you don't have to read it. And uh, it says, Hear, Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Amen. The 6, verse 4. It says, Hear, Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. O Senhor, nosso Deus, é o único Senhor. So if you're serving one God, the one, the one, the one, the one, there's no need for, for you to invoke any other God or to use unnecessary tools that misguide you to think that it's his doing. 
que faz tu pensar que é a, a, a obra de Deus. When you engage in a deeper relationship with the Lord, quando tu engajas numa relação diferente com Deus, you already know that He is able. Tu já sabes que Ele é capaz. And because He is able, e porque Ele é capaz, you don't fear. Tu não teme. Even if the situation is not in your favor, da mesma que a situação não esteja a seu favor, even when the enemy seems stronger than you. Even when the voices surrounding you are saying, ah, you lose it. The Lord is saying, I'm the one. There is no único. need for extra. So in your life, my brother and sister, if you are adding different ingredients to your worship, let me break the news for you. Stop doing it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just stop doing it. Apenas para de fazer. I always like to emphasize this. Gosto de enfatizar isto. You know, if if you live in the light, então, se for, se vives na vida, there na is luz. no communion between the light and darkness. Não existe nenhuma comunhão entre a luz e a escuridão. So Moses didn't call for witchcraft. Então, o Moisés não, não invocou o curandeirismo. Because he clearly demonstrated Porque claramente ele demonstrou that the Lord our God de que o Senhor, o nosso Deus, is the all-powerful God. É o Deus todo -poderoso. When we saw quando ele viu, his hand moving in Egypt, quando ele viu a mão de Deus a se mover em, showing Egipto, wonders a demonstrar maravilhas, and convincing the heart of the Pharaoh e a convencer o coração as maravilhas. well the heart of his own people. Da mesma forma que ele fez so Moses knew então, Moisés there, was, there was no need for additional de, things. Não existia nada, não havia, não havia necessidade de there is nada. no need for idolatry. Não existia necessidade de ter uma idolatria. Hey, yeah, there's no need. Não existe nenhuma necessidade. So, People sometimes they say you need to have the the painting of Saint Gerson in your in your house. Então, as pessoas dizem que deve ter uma imagem do São São João Gerson. And when you see Saint Gerson there, e quando vejo São Gerson ali, sometimes in the morning, por vezes de manhã, you go and greet Saint Gerson. Então tu vais e cumprimentas o São Gerson. Hi Saint Gerson. Ah, Santo Gerson. Today I want to have a good day. Hoje quero ter um bom Please dia. Please ask Jesus for me. Por favor, peça a Jesus por to mim. To give me a good day, para Saint Gerson. Para me dar um bom dia, Santo Gerson. And Saint Gerson is just looking at you like. Mm. Então, Santo Gerson olha para ti e diz ah. It's just a picture. É apenas uma It's imagem. just a statue. É apenas uma It's not the real thing. Não é a coisa verdadeira. So there was no need to have idols então, não de ter to fight for you. Para por ti. Because you already are a citizen of the kingdom. Já é do reino de Deus. So say to your neighbor, you are a então, citizen of the kingdom. O seu próximo, tu é cidadão do reino de Deus. Mm. Hey. So God gives us victory então Deus concede a vitória against the flesh contra a carne the world o mundo and the devil e o diabo because our battles porque as nossas batalhas are his battles são as suas batalhas again our battles as nossas batalhas are his battles são as batalhas de Deus também because he says i fight for you porque ele diz que eu luto por vocês i am the lord of hosts eu sou o senhor dos exércitos mine is the earth a mim pertence o a terra and i will protect you e eu irei te proteger and it's important for us to understand that e é importante nós because it's in christ isso. that we are more than conquerors porque é em cristo que nós somos mais do que vencedores so in the past armies would carry uh, flags então no passado or banners os, os exércitos carregavam bandeiras um, to to showcase their nation para demonstrar identificar a sua nação Some of them would have eagles. Alguns tinham águias. Some would have dragons displayed. Outros Because these animals were seen as the most stronger animals. Porque esses animais representavam os animais mais fortes. That's why you see lions. É por isso nós vemos leões. In some countries. Em certos países. That's why you see eagles in some countries. É por isso vemos águias em certos países. And in other countries you see an AK-47. Então em algumas vezes AK-47. <laughs> so, because they, they want to raise a banner, porque eles querem levantar uma bandeira. They want to showcase who they are. Querem demonstrar quem eles são. But as a citizen of the kingdom Mas of God, como cidadão do reino de Deus, the only flag you have to display a única bandeira que is the Lord that you serve. É o Senhor que tu serves. Is the Lord that you serve. É o Senhor que tu serves. Because even when the Amalekites were coming to fight, então, mesmo quando os já they were bringing their gods. 
trazendo os seus deuses. They were bringing their beliefs. Estavam a trazer as suas crenças. Their knowledge. Os seus conhecimentos. And Israel didn't have anything else. Então Israel não besides tinha nada knowing mais, a não ser o that Jehovah Nisi. Saber o Jeová Nisi. The Lord is our banner. O Senhor é a nossa bandeira. So as you seek the Lord, assim que for já buscar o Senhor, as you call upon His name, assim que for já clamar pelo Seu nome, please say to yourself, diga a ti mesmo, I'll only raise one thing. Eu apenas irei erguer uma única. And this banner that I will raise, e essa bandeira que eu vou erguer, is the Lord. É do Senhor. I'll call upon His name, eu vou clamar pelo Seu nome, e Ele vai ouvir. E Ele vai ouvir. I'll call upon His name, eu vou clamar pelo Seu nome, He will answer. E Ele vai responder. Men trust in chariots então, and horses. O homem confia em carruagens e cavalos. But we trust the Lord. Mas nós confiamos no Senhor. I trust the Lord. Eu confio no Senhor. So let us stand. Vamos levantar. And again, it's it's quite important for us to to go deeper and deeper in this topic. E é muito importante que nós aprofundemos neste tópico. Because some of you are fighting different Amalekites. Porque alguns de vocês estão lutando com diferentes Amalequitas. I don't know if they are Amalekites. Não sei quais são os Amalequitas. But they are ites. Mas eles são os itas. And they try to eat whatever you are producing. E eles tentam comer tudo aquilo que tu tentas produzir. They are fighting against your progress. Estão a lutar contra o seu progresso. And we know that this enemy is not just physical but also spiritual. Nós sabemos que esse inimigo não é somente físico, mas espiritual. And in order for you to win a spiritual battle, e para tu conseguires vencer uma batalha espiritual, you must seek the Lord. Tu deves buscar o Senhor. You must know that it's not about how strong you are physically. Então deves perceber que não tem nada a ver com o fato de ser And understand that it's time to seek his name. E devemos saber que é de buscar o seu nome. Mm. There is a saying that says you cannot worship beyond your revelation. Então, existe um ditado que diz que não pode adorar para além da sua revelação. So, the way that you see God, então, da, a forma como tu buscas a Deus, is the way that you have a relationship with Him. É a forma como tu tens um relacionamento com Ele. So that's why it's easy for people to have confusion. É por isso que é fácil muitas pessoas entram na confusão. When they worship, quando elas adoram. You know, we came to learn that the words that Moses was using was yada. Então nós vemos que as palavras que Moisés estava usando eram yada. He was raising his hands. Ele levantava a sua mão. He was worshiping. Ele estava a adorar. And it's interesting that the Bible doesn't quote what type of prayer Moses was doing. Então é interessante que a Bíblia não But he was just tipo raising his hands. Estava a fazer, mas apenas ele estava a levantar a mão. And that relationship yes, is something that we need to seek. É, é we buscar. need to have. Nós ter. It's not a superficial relationship. Não é um Because you can only have tu ter access to your true citizenship para sua when you understand that the deeper you worship him, the deeper your relationship is with him, greater he will be in your life. He will be greater in your life. Ele será maior na Some people vida. think that it's the opposite. Algumas pessoas pensam que é o oposto. That the more you worship, de quanto mais tu for adorar, the more you seek him, quanto mais tu for you become great. Tu tornas te maior. No. No. It's the name of the Lord that is exalted. É o nome do Senhor That's how que é it should be. É dessa forma que deve ser. I don't know what you're calling for. Então, eu não sei o But one, one thing I want to remind Mas uma coisa que eu quero you. You need to say to yourself, tu deves dizer a ti mesmo, today, hoje, Today, Hoje, I ha want to have a deeper relationship with the Lord. Eu quero ter um mais I want com to Senhor. get deeper in my knowledge. Eu quero meu so that mesmo. when I kneel, kneel tal forma, or when I bow, bow down, prostrar, I adorar, can call upon His name eu posso and I'll feel nome, His presence. Eu a sua Even when I'm praying for my brothers então, who are in Nampula, mesmo quando for orar para os meus irmãos, He will Nampula, answer my prayers. Ele vai a minha Even when I'm praying for my brothers in Mikanyeles, então, mesmo quando for orar He He will answer my prayer. Even when I'm fighting on behalf of my brothers who are in China. When I pray, I know He will answer. Quando eu for orar, I know eu sei He will answer. As you seek Him. Assim que for buscá-lo. So today, portanto hoje, as we pray, assim que vamos orar, that's my only request. Este é o meu único pedido. You may say, but pastor, you're always emphasizing on that. Então, pode dizer, pastor, estás sempre enfatizando isso. Because that's the only thing that Jesus asked for us. Porque essa é a única coisa que Jesus pediu de nós. 
to have a deeper relationship. Ter um relacionamento mais profundo. You'll find more of him. Tu vais encontrar mais dele. When you have less of you. Quando tens menos de ti. When you are surrounded by his glory. Quando estás rodeado da sua glória. When you are emptied of your own will. Quando tu te esvazias de tua própria When you understand that hey The Lord is carrying me through this turbulence. Então, quando percebes que o Senhor está me carregando durante essa toda a turbulência. Even when the chaos is settled. Então, mesmo quando o caos está abrandado ou mais reduzido. I know that it's still there. Eu sei que ele ainda está presente. Even when the dust is raising. Então, mesmo quando a poeira se levanta. I know that the Lord will show me a way. Eu sei que o Senhor irá mostrar um caminho. You know, I just want to encourage you today. Então, quero encorajar você. As we hoje, pray. Assim que formos orar. You know, we're going to pray Vamos for orar. our families. We're going to pray Vamos orar. for our neighbors, for our communities. Pelos vizinhos, pela nossa we're going to pray for our nation. Vamos orar pela nossa nação. But also pray for yourself. Mas ore por ti mesmo. And say, you know, uh, Lord, I just need to go deeper. Então, diga, Senhor, eu I'm a citizen of this kingdom. Eu sou cidadão deste reino. I am part of your people. Eu faço parte do seu povo. And I want to understand you. E eu quero te entender. Like never before. Como nunca antes. Hallelujah. Amém. Let us pray, church. Vamos orar, igreja. Raise your voice. Erga sua voz. Oh Lord Jesus, I thank you, Lord. Even when we are weak, in you we are strong. Even when we don't understand, Lord, we know that it's you. Who have control over everything. Even when we can we can't see the way, Lord, you will make a way. So, Lord, I'm praying now in Jesus' name. Lord, strengthen us, help us, Lord, to be where you want us to be. In this relationship with you, Lord, help us, Lord, to understand that you are the center. And when you are the center. Everything orbits around you. So Lord, I'm praying now. Lord, have have your way. Have your way. Lord, Lord, we are praying for our relatives. Our families. Lord, I'm praying now, Lord, that you you answer. Lord, may you rescue those that are lost. Lord, help them to see the way. Ajuda a ver o caminho. To find you. Para te encontrar. Lord, to understand who you are. Para perceberem quem tu és. Lord, help us to also Ajuda be também. able to share this word a ser capaz de essa with palavra. those that have not yet heard it. Com que ainda não Lord, may they see you te ver. in us and through us. E nós, de nós. Lord Jesus, I pray. Senhor Jesus, eu I declare your glory eu a tua in this nation. Nesta nação. Lord, I pray. Senhor, eu oro. I'm praying, Lord, that eu even oro, in this Senhor. situation, as we have said Nesta and agreed, assim que Lord, that a dialogue will happen that a solution will happen because we don't want to see bloodshed but we want to see peace Lord we want to declare Lord that yes you are providing and bringing peace you are bringing clarity even for those who want to take advantage of this situation those who want to destroy things Lord bring clarity so that the message is clear that your peace prevails Holy Spirit also pray spiritually because no, Lord we know that even as we see this battle physically Lord you are doing something spiritually fight on behalf of your people fight on behalf of this nation Lord have your way in this nation Lord we pray now in Jesus name Lord because we seek you because we don't have anywhere to go only you have the words of life so Lord we seek you we call upon your name Lord Jesus have mercy may your grace abound in this nation Lord we are praying Lord for households Lord I'm praying Lord because we know that there are businesses that are being affected Lord I pray that you bring peace Lord I declare you in this nation Lord every wall that has been raised Lord break it in Jesus name oh Lord 
Oh, Senhor. Yes, you are. Sim, Senhor, tu és. You are the Savior. Tu és Salvador. And Lord, bring salvation to this land. Salvador. Only you can heal our land. Lord, we pray now. Senhor, oramos. Lord, it doesn't make sense. Não faz sentido, Senhor. In this country, Nesta nação, full of resources, cheio de recursos. That we still see, Lord. E ainda certain things happening. Lord, we are praying. Oramos, Senhor. As you raise men and women. To take office in this country. Oh Lord, I pray now in Jesus' name. We don't know them, but you know them. You know their deepest secrets. You know their deepest challenges. And Lord, now we pray the same way that you touched Pharaoh. That you touch the king of Babylon. Lord, I'm praying. And we pray. Touch those who are, Lord, in our government to make the right decisions for the benefit of the people. Oh, Lord, I thank you. I thank you now. Yes, Lord, for the new doors that you open. Because, Lord, as you're doing something new in the country, we know, Lord, there is a great opportunity. And the door that you open is wide. And, Lord, we declare you, Lord, in every household in this place, Lord, may you provide. Because we remember, Lord, that we have a vision. Nós temos uma visão. We need provision. E precisamos de provisão. Lord provide. Senhor, possa prover. And only you can provide. E somente o Senhor pode prover. Lord, we pray in Jesus name. Senhor, oramos em nome de Jesus. Lord, give healing. Dê a cura. To those who need healing. Para aqueles que precisam da cura. Give wisdom. Dê sabedoria. To those who lack it. Para aqueles que têm falta. Oh Lord, give strength. E o Senhor conceda força. To the weary. Oh Lord, I pray now in Jesus' name. We believe in a miracle. And your miracle is beyond what we can see. Because Lord, you do things that are not rational. Because in our way of thinking, Lord, it's impossible. But with you, nothing is impossible. So Lord, I pray. Lord, there are many prayers in this place. There are many needs. But Lord, I pray in Jesus' name that you answer. And as you answer, may your name be glorified and exalted. Lord, may we see people praising you for the goodness that you make happen. So Lord, I thank you. Yes, Lord. For the peace that only you can give. For the peace that surpasses our understanding. Lord, thank you. Help us, Lord. Help us, Lord. Help us, Lord. In Jesus' name, Lord, I pray. And I declare your name. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. While we're 